Hey, what's up guys? I'm Joe with Vision Network and today I'm going to be showing you a really cool trick that I, that I figured out on how to set up my iPhone as a teleprompter. If you're not sure what a teleprompter is, basically when, you, when you're watching like a television show or you know like the news or a talk show, the host is looking into a teleprompter that's mounted on the television camera that's recording what they say. So they're, they're able to look right at the camera and read off of the screen their, um, what they're supposed to be saying, their script. But I don't know about you guys, but I'm always trying to figure out ways to improve my video and the viewing experience. And so the other day I was doing a little bit of research on teleprompters and I found out real quick they're very expensive. I did find one that's pretty affordable and I'm going to put that up behind me in the screen here in just a minute. But first off, I want to show you what a teleprompter is, what a professional teleprompter looks like, and what some of them cost. So you can see them behind me on the screen now, and we'll scroll through a few of them just to give you an idea. They cost hundreds and some over, you know, in the thousands of dollars. So they're expensive. They're not really readily available for the average consumer because of the price. But there is some other alternatives. I looked up some videos on YouTube and I found a lot of people making like homemade teleprompters and stuff like that. And so if you, if you have the resources and you're kind of crafty with your hands, then you can probably make your own teleprompter using some downloadable software. So basically what you need is you need, you need the software and it's going to pro project on the screen what you're going to say. You would put in the text and everything. Then you would make like a little box and then a mirror at a 45 degree angle and then it would project that uh, text onto the camera screen so that you or onto the onto that mirror that you put in the box and then you can look directly into the camera and you can read what it's saying. Or you can do what I've just done here and I've set up um, I've kind of rigged up a little mount on my tripod with my iPhone and I downloaded an app that, I, that I'll show you um, on the screen now. It's right here. So I downloaded this app onto my iPhone and so I haven't actually tested it out yet. All I've done is set it up on my tripod and it looks like it's going to work pretty good. So I'm about to show you here in a minute what it looks like from my point of view. So basically I've got a Logitech C120 or C920 webcam. I've got a standard video camera tripod. I've got my, one of my studio lights setting up here. Uh, you know, to give more light on myself. And then, I've, of course, I've got my, gr my green screen mounted on the wall behind me, and I've got my little uh, blue snowball microphone here on a countertop in front of me. So my, my setup is very simple. There's nothing here that's very expensive. And so now I'm, I'm uh, going to grab the iPhone. I'm going to flip it around the other direction so that you guys can see exactly what I've got set up and what's going on around me. So here you can see, there's my studio light, I've got my blue snowball on a little tabletop here, I got my laptop there, and uh, there's the, the Logitech C920 which is recording what we're doing right now. And uh, I've got this, uh, it's actually a mount, a suction cup mount that I usually carry with me in my vehicle, and it, it's uh, basically for holding a GPS that you mount on your windshield. So I'm going to get up from my chair right now. I'm going to show you what I've done here. I know it's uh, kind of um, it's not very high tech, but basically I've taken the suction cup mount and I have duct taped it around the tripod. Say hi to my cat. That's baby cat. And then basically the phone sits in this little cradle. Now this doesn't fit my iPhone, but there is like a little hook here, as you can see. And it's sitting back at an angle just enough to hold the iPhone uh, steady if I set it into that cradle. And it works pretty good. So <clears throat> all you guys need, need is a, a camera, a tripod, an iPhone, and the app. And uh, you'll have yourself your very own teleprompter for little or no money. Well, actually, no money at all if you already have the equipment. So uh, I'm going to flip the uh, camera back there. Set it in the cradle, and we'll continue recording. I'm actually uh, going to try the teleprompter um, 
uh, later on I haven't actually tried it all I've done is I've rigged up the mount and I decided that that would probably make a pretty good video so I wanted to share with you guys um, this will help you with your commentaries if some of you struggle with your commentaries if you get in front of the camera and you freeze up and you don't know what to say well all you have to do is type in what you want to say in the application on your phone hit start and then you know once you have it mounted you just read off of the phone now it's very important though that you try to line your eyes up you get it mounted as close to the camera as you can so that you're having eye contact with the viewers now the way my setup is right now it's slightly below the camera so I don't know exactly how it's going to look just yet but you guys can do some research on the internet you can probably maybe you can come up with a better way than I did but this might get you going in the right direction and uh, give you guys a, a new incredible you know uh, creative way to make videos so uh, yeah if you're, if you're like me you're always looking to improve uh, your video and your viewer experience so I hope that you found this video helpful I'm Joe with Vision Network, and we'll see you next time. Peace out.